Who is the life of the party? The new guy, Pringle. Oh yeah, does he bring a lot of drama this season? <laughs> yeah, he's like a bull in a, bull in a china shop. Um, it's, it's kind of specific drama, but it, there's definitely a lot of drama. Me, of course. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> Have you been watching? <laughs> <laughs> Does uh, Pringle give you a run for your money this uh, this oh season? Oh my God, Pringle. So Pringle and I went to college together. He was two years older. He was just um, a lot of fun, but unpredictable. And, and so I think he's a good addition. Life of the party for sure, I want to say is Madison. I think Madison is... Madison's gonna come and she's gonna have a good time. And I think Pringle, Pringle's, Pringle's a party boy. Who's most likely to get married next? Somehow it might be Shep, what? but yeah, which is crazy, a full reversal. But I would say, yeah, I would pick Shep. Oh man, don't put me on the spot. <laughs> um, I don't know. I hope no one. I <laughs> I've met his um, current woman friend um and yeah she's really sweet really beautiful very quiet um i think that's what craig needs he kind of needs like a stoic strong quiet girl so he can be the social butterfly and you know feel confident and manly i don't think he he needs like i, I think it i think this might be the one i don't know craig's getting into adulthood like the little baby is starting to it's not crawl anymore he's like spreading his little wings next one to have a baby Tom, I guess Thomas isn't included. Um, I would say Austin would be the first to have kids, probably. Um, I would like to say me, um, but I think it'll end up being Catherine. Which Bravo show do you think Southern Charm should do a crossover with? Well, I went to Jackson and them's wedding, uh, Jackson and Brittany. I love those people. I really like uh, Tom Schwartz. He is the sweetheart of a guy. And so I would love to get together with them. I mean, I think until they all got married, Vanderpump and us were, you know, the battle of the coasts. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's where, I know that Austin would go to Summer House and I would go to Vanderpump if we were doing a draft, so. Okay. Oh my God, so because, this is not just because I'm Persian, but I think that if the Shaws of Sunset were to take a vacation to Charleston, it would be epic. Because it would be like all these people in like black and gold and like, it, everyone here is wearing like a bow in pink, you know, like it would just be, it would be hilarious. I think that um, that would be a really fun crossover. I would love for them to come here for a weekend so I can just take them everywhere and people can look at them like, like a bunch of exotic animals just arrive. Who is the best dressed on the cast? I mean, I feel like I've always been the best dressed, but um, Shep's the most improved. His style is the most improved from the beginning of, we had to rewatch the season, season finale a couple weeks ago with Watch With The Cast, and I was like, what are you wearing? But I think I was dressed pretty funny too, but um, yeah, we all, our style, all of our style is getting better. Mine, I think this year I'm in one of my like, relaxed surfer style modes. I think like every season I'm either like dressed up or in hoodies or in t shirt I don't know, we'll see. I say Craig is kind of stylish. I don't agree with some of his style choices, but I think he's pretty stylish. Yeah, maybe Madison, I think. Mm -hmm. I think Madison looks pretty well. Yeah, I think Ma Madison is like, she, she cares about her fashion, so I'd probably say Madison. Worst dressed? Sometimes Catherine. Catherine's a hit or miss. Sometimes she's like glorious, and then other times you're like, that's that's her like, that's her thing. She's just, she's like a sour patch. Kid. Like, it's like, <laughs> you just never know what you're gonna get. And I think it's true. she's very authentic with her fashion because you never know what you're going to get. You're like in a nail and she's like in a dominatrix outfit. And you're like, what's happening? Where, what is happening? Which housewife would you like to go on a date with and why? I mean, Sonia and I have done so much together now. It would just be hilarious. Um, so she's funny. So she's my partner in crime with, uh, with housewives. I went to high school with Tinsley, oh. Tinsley's um, little sister, Dabney. Okay. So I know them pretty well, but I, I mean, I, I would love to go on a casual, fun, boozy dinner date with Tinsley and her sister. Who's the most famous person who has one of your pillows? Probably the housewives. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I don't. I don't know outside of the Bravo universe right now. I'm still waiting for that big surprise. Mm -hmm. um, 
at least that have posted about it. So yeah. that's a good question. And I will, I'll give you that. I'll, I'll message you when I, if I find out, cause I'll actually ask my partner after this, cause that is a great question.